In this video, I'm going to go over this discriminant question disguised as a log question from the IB Math SL exam. So at first glance, it looks like you're going to need log properties and log equation skills. Uh, but you read later in the question, it has this language, exactly one solution. And that's one of our tip-offs that this is discriminant question. So if you ever see the language about um, two solutions or one solution, exactly one solution, that kind of thing, uh, you're going to think discriminant. If it's two solutions, the discriminant is greater than zero. If it's two imaginary solutions, two imaginary or no real solutions, some language like that, we're having a discriminant that is less than zero. And if it's exactly one solution, which sometimes is um, written as two repeated, because it would be the same value twice, uh, which is actually just one value, that would be where the discriminant equals zero. So here we have exactly one solution. The discriminant is going to equal zero. But we have some work to do before we can even see a discriminant in this question. But that's what you should be thinking when you see that language. So now we can go back up to the top where it says consider. f of x equals, and we have a log uh, with a base k. We're told x has to be between 0 and 2, all right? And k is greater than 0, so the base of a log is, is greater than 0. Um, the equation f of x equals 2 has exactly one solution. So even just writing that the function equals 2 might earn you a point. function equals 2. So you always should write whatever you do know, just from reading the question. We do know that eventually we're going to be setting our discriminant equal to 0. That also might be worth the point, so you should write down anything you do know. And now we're looking to our log equation, and this is the only step at which I require some log knowledge, uh, which is to say if I'm trying to solve a log equation, I would want to rearrange it to exponential form. So the base of this log is a k, so base k, and the log equals an exponent. So this thing is the exponent in a log equation. So I put that on the base. So base k to the exponent of 2 would equal the argument of your log. So that's just rearranging a log equation to an exponential equation. And now I know I'm supposed to have a discriminant set equal to 0, and I'm going to have to rearrange this thing to, in order to figure out what my discriminant's going to be. So I'm going to get everything on one side of the equation, 3x squared minus 6x plus k squared equals 0. I'm going to identify what a, b, and c are, because I know that my discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. If I don't know it, I can find that in the formula booklet. So I'm going to set, uh, well, actually, let's identify. This is a, that's the 3, and this is b, and the c is k squared. So it's a little bit of work for us there. So we'll say b squared minus, oops, 4, then times a times c equals 0. So I've got everything filled in. I have only one variable. That's the k. So I should be able to solve this equation. And this is a non-calculator question. So if it's a, a quadratic, which this one is, it should be factorable. Or you can use square roots to solve. So we're going to divide both sides by 12. 3 equals k squared. k equals, at first you might be thinking plus or minus 3. But then we're going to have to go look up at the top where we see that k is greater than 0. So k equals the square root of 3. And that's it.